Hey Tinkers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we are in my ISM. We are on Siegfried Line in an assault in a tier 8, pure tier 8 game. So, top tier heavy. ISM, man, that is just a, that is one of the ugliest looking tanks I think it's ever been my pleasure to, to like or dislike. <laughs> it's just an ugly looking tank. But, you know, it does fairly good side scraping. And, um, you know, it's part of the 705A on track, so I decided to dust off the dust and wash it up and take it out i spawned over here in the uh what north and i'm gonna head right over here to the middle road just see what i can do so i'm coming up here on this middle road and i thought well should we give it a shot now you're taking a chance here i could have easily been just evaporated <laughs> but luckily nobody else had gotten there yet I see the ISM and the charioteer over here, and I'm like, oh, okay. Captain McWilly, what are you doing? So I come over here to the other side, and then I spot the tiger too, and I thought, whoa, okay. I get a shot on him and he's tucked in there like a tick and I'm like okay he could be he could be getting me as well as I could be getting him so uh, what's the options here then the ISM McWilly comes in and I'm like okay fine and I'll just put him a little hurt on him set him on fire get some cheering and the ISM's down Mr. Centurion moves in my way. And I get a shot into the Tiger too. You gotta like that. So now I'm doing, uh, I guess, reversing, <laughs> reverse poking. Another shot into the Tiger too. Well, you know, by reverse poking, I'm not showing a lot of my, uh, a lot of my tank here. Now we get this IS, this Tiger too. I'm not really showing a lot of my tank. Let's see how much? Yeah, just a poke. Yeah, I mean, I am showing some, and I could take some serious damage for it. That's it. And I bounce him, and he bounces me. And I'm like, okay, this is getting dangerous. I might be going back to the well one time too many. I don't see him, and it's like, oh. Man, if I had seen him just a little bit sooner, I could have gotten a shot at him. Ferdinand over there. Oh, nice shot right into him. Of course, I am using the gold. Uh, gotta get through the front plate of that bad boy. And there's a uh, miss. Yeah, this gun is not known for its accuracy, as in most Russian heavies. Is this 122, the 390 Alpha, 212 penetration, 240 on the APCR. And there goes the third. All right, third man down. That's what we like. An ISM that was cutting across the field, he just disappeared. Hmm. I have to back out, but I'm turning around. It's time to go on the offensive. Time to be attack ISM. The Tiger 
tuna centurion one over here. Take a hit from the tiger two. Bounce the centurion one. Tiger two is down, so now I can work on the centurion. And of course, armor not penetrate, but I bounce him, so it makes us even. Now I'm just gonna chase him. If he was smart, he would have come at me and gotten around me instead of backing up. And another no penetration. What is up with this? Of course, it was just auto aimed. I decided, you know what? Bounce him. Yeah, another no penetration. God. I'm just going to belly up on him. Right through the middle of him. Right through the middle upper plate. And then he turns sideways to me, and that's just... It's all over but the crying now. And there he goes. I see the Tiger 2 coming out, and he wants to take a piece of me. Yeah, he was looking to get a shot into me. But, I got a shot into him. Alright. Now we got the Pershing over there. IS-3. There's the Charioteer. IS-3's down. Whoa, get out of the way of that RHM. I didn't even see him. And luckily, he didn't get a shot into me. Charioteer over here. And I hit the dirt. Uh, auto aim when I'm coming through. I, I use auto aim quite a bit. Charioteer down. It's time to turn around. Need to go get the RHM. And the Pershing. And this guy stops. And then he hits me again. Or I hit him again. Here goes the Centurion 1. And he gets nuked by the RHM. I managed to get a shot in the RHM. And he's reloading. He's reloading. <laughs> and I bounce his shot while I ram kill him. Yes. Alright. So now it's the ISM and the T69. Now I know the ISM. He disappeared out in the field. And I'm not, I'm not fast enough to go hunt him down, so we're going to head towards the T-69 in the base. See what we can do here. Clock's running down, so we need to either need to kill them all or cap out. And since I don't know where the ISM is, I figured the cap out is probably the better in order to win the game. T-69's just taking some damage. Fire a shot. He gets behind the building. Then I notice on my minimap the ISMs come in behind us. And I'm going to use the building here. Okay, right into the front sprocket of the ISM. Seven seconds, he misses me. And we cap it out. That's a victory. All right, well, I got a first class. Bruiser, fighter, fire for effect, shell proof, steel wall, and a high caliber. 93,797 in credits, 5,083 in experience, and 27 bonds. I did 4,486 in damage, got four kills for a base XP of 1354, 1355. Uh, again, most damage, most base XP. I fired 20 shots, of those 16 hit, and of those 12 penetrated. I, bound, I did 1,500 from 300 meters out. I blocked 2,370, and uh, that's it. Made some good credits, made some good experience, and again, it's on the 705A... Uh, tech tree or um, on track so all in all a pretty good game just pushing in playing some side scraping when i needed to being aggressive showing some you know face-to-face -face hugging uh you know all around just a decent play 
knowing when I should have capped as opposed to chase tanks down. Um, you know, just not not spectacular gameplay, but just progressive play. Good in-game decision, mid-game decision, so on and so forth. So anyway, that's my ISM on Siegfried in an assault battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. This is Bonsai Duck out.